I think the Maritime Museum for a country like Australia that is an island is a very, very important part of our history. Tourists love the interaction they get when they come to the museum with uh, the volunteers, the guided tours on each of the vessels. One of the main things that I get from being a, a guide is the great amount of diversity that one gets by meeting people that come from all walks of life. And I think it's our duty to give them a, the, the first impression, which is a good impression, of this country and Sydney in particular. I'm very proud of our volunteers at the museum. We have about 1,500 volunteers here. To show them, in my case, the submarine, is, is to show people uh, almost universally that have never seen a submarine before, a submarine that's actually as it was. And to see people's faces when they um, are exposed to what life was like um, in reality in a submarine like that is really good fun. One of the main places on board the Vampire is of course the bridge. Uh, children, but even adults, and when they get onto the bridge, there's usually quite a number of volunteers want to sit in the captain's seat. Well, of course, I like to involve people or interest them in uh, the service personnel. I'm an ex-submariner. I spent um, uh, five years in submarines in the early 70s, so it was part of my life. A vampire's got a uh the closeness to my heart is because I served on Vampire for four and a half years in the Royal Australian Navy, so I've really got an affection for, uh, for Vampire. And to have missed this one would be to miss a, a real treasure in Australia's crown. You'll never experience water like this. <laughs>